So 2022 is a universal six year. And in a lot of ways, this is gonna be slower paced. It's gonna be a lot calmer. It's gonna be a lot smoother. I think this year we're gonna see a lot more kindness and compassion as well. So for your actions and interactions with the world at large, this, month, this year, should I say, you have the tower card, right? So I know a lot of you are probably thinking, oh crap, here we go. Remember though, your actions and interactions with the world at large, this is all about what you do. For your finances, your money and materials, you have the strength card, right? So very interesting. When it comes to finances, money, resources, this year, you are getting very, very clear on what it is that you need financially to make the moves that you would like to move, um, make to move, <laughs> on the moves that you would like to make, sorry. Mercury is currently retrograde as I'm filming this, as are six, uh, five of the other planets in the sky as well. So uh, <laughs> the odd slip up is bound to happen. With that said, the strength card in your finances suggests that this year you are going to be so bold and brave about going after the things that you truly want. And this year, your lunations are huge. This is a huge deal for you because your lunations, your new moon and your full moon are both eclipses. So the way that we conceptualize eclipses is if you were on a train when the tracks of the trains uh, when the tracks switch and they take the train in a different direction that is what an eclipse will bring into your life it will bring you a fated change of some kind this is going to be a change of direction very often one that you don't see coming but I kind of feel like they don't necessarily change your life um, in like a yes it can be unexpected but they don't change it completely it's more like it puts you on the path that you were meant to be. So you start the year with the Wheel of Fortune, right? So you and Libra both got this card. So this is great because it puts you, I mean, the first card out, sets the tone for the rest of the year. It gives you an idea of the kind of energies you're gonna be experiencing over the course of 2022. So uh, in February, you have the Empress. Nice, all right. So. The fact that you've got the Empress right next to the Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Cups, I'm gonna say this is January and February are very fertile times of the year for you. What I will say as well is where most people are starting the year in a bit of, mm, you seem to be starting the year in stellar fashion. This is abundance, it is growth, it is fruitful endeavors or the fruits of the labors that you've already sown in. February could be a really good month for you to relax, to recoup. It might also be a time where you start thinking about changing the way that you look, changing your appearance, maybe rebranding a website, maybe you're changing your um, the branding for your company or your business, maybe you're cutting your hair, uh, 